welcome. I take it you're here for a very personal, emotional, and cheesy video? What? Aw, oh, come on, I put so much work into this. It even has video games in it. Thank you. Enjoy the show. So a few months back, I was watching a video by a very nice philosophy lady, and she was talking about masculinity and, you know, men in modern times as a whole, while dishing out a hefty amount of empathy. And while she was saying that the situation of men is a little bit dire right now, she isn't really in a position to provide a positive, you know, masculine image, because she is a woman. So I thought about it for a while, and I decided to maybe take up that job? So, let me tell you about my friend, Pedro. You see, I think it's pretty well known right now that there is a vast amount of positive role models for women in modern times. The whole image of what a woman can be has undergone positive change. Not only that, but women supporting women has become the socially normal thing to do. And if a celebrity comes out as fucking up and not supporting women, it's a scandal. All of this hopefully combines into a place where women feel more confident in their capabilities as well as their bodies. Now obviously there is still a long way to go, but I think it's undeniable that we are currently in an upward spiral where awareness is increasing. Now if we look at the male side of things, uh... I think the problem is many men feel attacked by modern political developments. People tend to generalize, and with each new big expose about a toxic man, there's a small subsection of people that just project it on all men. Now obviously, this is an almost insignificantly small amount of people, but through internet manipulation and bad intent, certain negative voices are amplified. And I've met a lot of young men that feel like social progress is just people unnecessarily hating on them being themselves and enjoying the things they do. If you're a sensible person, you might wonder how it's even possible to mistake these two clearly very different things as being the same. But the world is vast, and with how reclusive many of us are living right now, it's no surprise that many straight white men have never made any meaningful connections to minorities or women and therefore are living very isolated and susceptible to all kinds of lies about them. In fact, these two things are correlated. The more isolated you are from the world, the easier it will be to get you to subscribe to some crazy idea about it as a whole. And I know I sound like I'm on a high horse telling you about a bunch of basement-dwelling nerds that I am morally, mentally and physically superior to, but, in case you haven't noticed, this video series has always been about things that I've done in the past. And, surprise surprise, I'm no stranger to reclusive and antisocial behavior. Shocking, I know. But I was a very, very different person a few years back. That, too, changed when I met my friend Pedro. He's always been a man of blunt kindness and confidence. It's very inspiring, really. He's a man well aware of the inherent value of socializing and meeting new people, and thanks to him, I learned that as well. Sorry, I, I have the feeling I'll be talking about him for a while this video. Hey, uh, Pedro, can you come over here? Of course, buddy. What's up? Ah, much better. If I'm gonna make a video talking about you, you might as well join me. Well, what I was talking about earlier was mostly in reference to young men falling prey to the extremist ideas of a few people. I already made a whole video about that, and you really don't need to hear that stuff again. Because some people subscribe to an even more dangerous idea. So let's get into that. Let's talk about anger management, everyone. See, lately Chris has been feeling a bit, how do you youngsters say, angry. And Pedro being the resident chill guy over here couldn't really understand what was happening to me. And because he continued with his positivity, I only got angrier. Because now I wasn't only angry, I also was angry in a what the hell is wrong with me kind of way. All this to say that my anger stemmed from frustration, and that frustration came from the sudden realization that people around me were exploiting me. And they weren't doing it maliciously, but it happened nonetheless. Obviously, this behavior is toxic and shouldn't be condoned. But I think the biggest factor that bothered me is that in this relationship, I wasn't on top. <laughs> he said, not now, Pedro. You see where I'm getting at, right? 
I think much of the male sphere is dominated by competition ever since birth. Now you could say that scientifically this stems from the aggression and inherent will for dominance caused by testosterone in our genes or something. But I think that's a pretty boring answer. Because truth is, socially, as men, we are expected to be in control. In control of our bodies, financial situations, and life as a whole. And while yes, that is marginally better than the expectations of dependency women face, I think it pushes us into a very toxic mindset. So by losing my temper, I not only felt like I was failing as a man, but also categorizing myself as inferior. And jokes about fetishism aside, that's not a nice thing to feel. And it does explain why many feel the need to establish dominance online, eh? If you can't establish dominance in your own life, best try somewhere else. Now, this is no tirade saying video games bad or something, but that's essentially what they are. Escapism. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but if you don't actually tackle the real problems in your life, they're never gonna get better. Exactly. And we aren't weak like those shitty, sad little other men, right buddy? By the way, have you been working out? You're looking good. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I only work out with you, you know that. <laughs> Thanks, though. I feel like much of this comes from people not knowing where to put their more nurturing or more destructive energies. And men aren't really given the tools to figure that out, actually. It's pretty much essential to correctly recognize your emotions and channel them appropriately, because even aggression and destruction can be productive. Now that i found an answer to my anger issues, let's look at what a man even is nowadays. Play the music! WAIT NO! So, defining what a man even is in 2020 is a big ask and might as well get me cancelled. Many people think that the only requirement for being a man is having the correct genitals for it, but those same people will then have you believe that you need to conform to an arbitrary list of requirements to even be taken seriously. Which honestly is pretty useless, because when I was younger, I wondered if I should even count as a man, because my interests were so different from boys around my age, <laughs> And well, guys liked girls, and girls liked guys, and I liked guys, so... I helped Chris with that though. Plus, the idea that a respectable man is signed by his sexual success is pretty old-fashioned, eh? Turns out, people just like sex. The fact a woman decides to sleep with you says nothing about your creepy skills in convincing them to do that. Fuck those horny bastards! Um... Additionally, in the modern world, financial stability and success are becoming increasingly uncertain, and both of those things being traditionally associated with masculinity, it's no wonder that many men cling on to the ideals of old. What many don't realize, however, is that might be a trap. I know it may seem to make sense to cling on to you know, the old world view where people lived more simpler lives and men were still in control, but the hard truth is that that's an illusion. And I don't say this as a gay whatever the fuck, I say this as a man, because the old world view didn't just limit women, no, it was also pretty damn limiting for men as well. Why would you want to live in a world dictating what you should look like, where, work at, doing your free time. Isn't a strong man someone who dares challenge these established ideas, someone who says is the things he truly feels and not the words of one who kneels? Hmm, I feel like I heard that before. Pedro is right, by the way, obviously. What makes a man is not his capability of following pre-established systems and orders. I think that's what so many people get wrong about superheroes. We dream about protecting our loved ones and living an exciting life through daring heroics, without realizing what that stuff is actually about. The idea behind Iron Man and Captain America fighting for what's right is that they accept their past mistakes and try to work through them by acquiring a higher understanding of both themselves and the world around them. Just like with my superpowers, theirs too are only added flavor to what is going on inside of their aching, manly hearts. 
Oh yeah? What are your superpowers? My disarming charm and cute butt. Wapow! W wow, that is a cute butt. I mean, a trend that has continued to this day and that personally annoys me to no end is the weird insistence that men are both extremely simple and intellectually superior to women. This is perpetuated by unfunny memes insisting that men are the wacky, crazy and creative ones and women are just boring and unfunny. Oh no, I mentioned women again. This is them trying to fuck a cake and eat it too. Why would you be so obsessed with being easy and uncomplicated, then turn around and expect others to see you as multifaceted? Cowards who fail to man up should die! So many men I know don't even dare look at the darker, deeper rooted problems in their life, out of fear of what they might find. Because having complex emotions is not manly or whatever. This is an excellent brooding ground for shallow husks of people that have the personality of a wet brick. And that's not really hot, is it? Exactly. Men are all trash anyway, except for us two. Pero, what are you talking about? What about my friends? Those fat fucks have never done anything for you except manipulate you. They don't give a shit about you. Men don't care about anything except themselves. In this world you're either strong or weak. You're either an alpha or an beta. And we are not about to be losers again! <sighs> Alright, there's no other way. I have to kill you! You helped me, you taught me so much, yet all this time you never believed in anybody but yourself. Men need to stop being so damn sensitive, stop defending your shitty toxic behavior and start believing in being better. Believe in yourself, believe in others. Other men aren't your contestants, they are your companions. No one man can change the world, but if we keep supporting each other, holding all of us accountable, maybe, maybe things will change. I've seen the good in men, I've seen the good in myself, because turns out, after all, I am Pedro.